Hello, and welcome to Robots Explain. My name is Bailey, and today we're going to be talking about the batteries used in the first robotics competition. Let's get started. In this video, we will be going over the 12 volt sealed lead acid battery used to power robots in the first robotics competition. To get started, let's go over some details about these batteries. The dimensions of these batteries are roughly 7.1 inches wide, 3 inches across, and 6.6 .6 inches tall. The nominal weight of the battery should be between 11 and 14 and a half pounds. The FRC rulebook states that the terminals on your batteries must be a nut and bolt style. Teams should be looking at the current FRC rulebook to ensure that they meet the legal specifications for the battery before purchasing or using them. In 2018, no batteries other than those listed in the FRC rulebook were allowed on the robot, unless they were integral to the operation of other consumer off-the-shelf devices. Now let's talk about using the battery with the robot. Due to the potential risk of injury when handling batteries, you should always wear personal protective equipment, including safety glasses. As mentioned earlier, the nominal voltage of the battery is 12 volts, but after charging it can be as high as 13.8 volts. You can easily check the voltage level of your battery by using a device such as a battery beak or a bat hawk. Teams should make sure that their battery is secured so it does not disconnect during vigorous robot interaction on the field. We recommend using hook and loop straps or large zip ties to secure the battery to the rigid frame of your robot. In case of a battery spill or damage to the battery, use baking soda to neutralize any acid that has escaped the battery shell. Proper gloves should be used to prevent any acid from contacting exposed skin in this situation. Also, it is highly recommended that any battery that has been compromised is placed in a 5 gallon bucket with baking soda to prevent any further damage. So in summary, we use our batteries as a stored electrical device in our robots. It's important to make sure that the battery is well secured, safe, and selected to meet the outlined requirements in the FRC rulebook. Be sure to subscribe as we will be releasing more battery related content soon. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to check out robotsexplained.com for more information and videos on topics like this one.